गुड इवनिंग मल्लिकार्जुन सर देर इज आई थिंक दे शुड अलव यू टू अनम्यूट सर दे विल बी अलविंग यू शॉर्टली good evening students uh, around 439 students are there and students are fast adding let's give few more minutes two to three minutes before we start off yeah i think uh, uh, yeah they need to reach some maybe i think 1100 is the total strength registered right yes sir so so if we reach say kind of 700 to 800 maybe that yes. would be good to start okay. with yes so how is that these are all the students are from the colleges across andhra pradesh or from other states also just in andhra pradesh so uh, even telangana is included in that no sir i mean did we put any restriction like that or uh, no sir this is from the students where we have uh, oh maybe we have can, we have canvas only for the colleges yes. in andhra pradesh yes yes, yes. what if we extend the campaign to telangana colleges not uh, done at all sir but still i mean they will be receptive to the idea right yes yes they will be receptive yes the third batch we can try that yes otherwise our things yes sir you are at hyderabad or at vijayawada i am at vijayawada sir yeah you are saying that you have took some apartment over there yes 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 sometimes uh, if we include non telugu students it helps uh, in the diversity thank you we we tried sir actually we tried people from pune uh, okay but uh, they have personally messaged me that they are not able to uh, understand english they are wanting <laughs> hindi hindi <laughs> so uh, so that is another opportunity Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, developing the curriculum in vernacular languages. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> that is difficult, especially to translate AML and all that into vernacular language. But still, it is an opportunity. so we are planning an industry meet in vijayawada sir with the chief minister so okay. for that purpose i am staying back here to work out things so uh, you are forgetting tirupati and uh, you are doing uh, <laughs> yeah, only hyderabad vijayawada are you are here <laughs> yes, time to make a visit to tirupati and uh, Right. Yes, sure. I think after this batch started, uh, you haven't visited Tirupati. Yes, sir. Yes. We'll visit so soon. After the formation of Tirupati district, uh, a lot of significance is there here because oh. collect collector and all the top district officials are staying here only. Oh. in fact they had a look at our campus also so oh. they if for uh, to relocate some of their offices but fortunately they did it come okay oh. otherwise we might have lost some space no not only in the state any lack of influence then no connection to join any choice Oh. Raj, can you uh, mute everyone else other than the speakers? 
Okay, so we are reaching 700. So probably we can uh, start off. Meghna, can you start off, Meghna? Yes, we are 700 now. Please start off, Meghna. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the IIDT and Blackbugs organized AIML program. Uh, I'm sure you will be able to learn a lot from this course. Today, we have uh, Sir Malika Arjuna Reddy with us. He is a general manager at, at academics at IIDT. Uh, I would request you, sir, to speak something with our students. Uh, thank you, Meghna, for the brief intro. Uh, uh, students, it's a great pleasure uh, to invite you to the second batch of this short-term program on AML. In fact, this is uh, our, our second collaboration between IIDT and Blackbuck. Blackbuck is already doing one postgraduate program on data science with us at IIDT Tirupati. Most of you might have heard about IIDT Tirupati. Uh, it's like it has, uh, IIDT has established itself a niche in the area of emerging technologies, especially in the areas of cybersecurity and data science. And currently we are expanding into the uh, emerging technology of AML. So far we have trained six batches of postgraduates and uh, it's a 100% 100% placement record for IIDT and also IIDT achieved a lot of awards in this area. Uh, now, because of this pandemic and we have moved to online training and also to short-term courses on uh, in emerging technologies. Apart from the short-term uh, course in AML, we are starting Hi, another sir, course. Like, uh, sorry to uh, disturb well. in between. Hello. Hi. Hi, this is Chandrasekhar here. Myself had training and placement from Kids Guntur. Yeah, tell me. Uh, like I, just tell me want to, uh, I just want one minute of your time. I just want to say hi to all my students who have joined this program, uh, like uh, voluntarily when we have announced them to join the program uh, okay. for the sake of uh, their career. And uh, dear students, uh, one thing I, I, I strongly believe in is uh, hard work never fails. Kachitanga, manam yedo 50 hours so 100 hours so a program lo jaina hai na mo. Ye 100 hours sinte man ki 50 lakh package lo stay, 50 lakh package lo stay na brahmalo unda. Wall 100 hours, mere kunko ka 200 hours so 300 hours so dhan ki add chesi, kasta padte ne, it will be a fruitful, it will be a win-win situation. Like please add two uh, 200 more hours to the actual program where I will definitely get benefited. Uh, I will uh, assure you uh, the best uh, what you can get towards uh, your uh, hard work. Like if you can add two, two more hundred uh, hours to the actual program, definitely each one among these uh, thousand students, those who are part of this program, uh, like uh, will definitely get benefited. Hope you all, uh, my expectations ki, Mirandar reach out tarani, Mirandar kastapadi program lo jayan out tarani. No, no, expect yes to know. Uh, like, uh, I uh, like uh, it is not an exaggeration to say, like, we strongly believe a black buck team that they can do wonders, uh, like, with all these uh, interested candidates. Please give the best inputs you can give to us, sir. Like, uh, probably uh, we are the uh, highest number of uh, uh, like uh, students who are associated for this program in our region. So uh, we strongly believe that you, you won't disappoint us in terms of uh, making them a bit more comfortable uh, to give uh, the best inputs, uh, what we are really uh, expecting to. Definitely Chandrasekhar Garu and I want to introduce to yourself and, yeah. and to yourself and to entire uh, students here. That's last month. Uh, training, training. 
Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm. I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh, you can. So Mallikarjun sir is uh, is director of academics of Inter IIDT International Institute of Digital Technologies. He is a accomplished uh, person in in the area of cyber security and uh, has worked extensively in, uh, in countries like US and Canada in these areas. And he now heads uh, IIDT in various fronts, not only academics, but entire operations and to make sure this program is successful. He got number of awards for IIDT after he has taken up uh, IIDT uh, uh, activities. He has taken up number of awards for, he has got number of awards for IIDT. So he is now speaking, Chandrasekhar Garu. Uh, sir, Chandrasekhar sir is a TPO of uh, Kit sir, and he is oh, okay. working from uh, almost ten years in the same college to ensure oh, okay. all kind of activities in uh, Kit sir. Yeah, great, 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 Chandrasekhar Garu. Uh, happy to be uh, sir. Online. That's what, sir. Uh, my simple words is like I have, as I have already instructed my students to add two more hundred hours uh, for the uh, to work on the same uh, product where you are uh, really uh, like uh, giving them. Uh, or not sharing them towards the uh, technologies. Yeah, so yeah. The, the, uh, like the, uh, when you are uh, to give to the industry process, not digest what you are teaching. Like, like it, it, hey, your voice is breaking, uh, uh, like sir. It is more your of, voice is breaking, sir. Yeah, sure, sure. I, uh, sir, time, I believe uh, I think uh, that only yeah. sometimes students may uh, sometimes students could have me yeah sure sure Chandrasekhar Garu I know the capabilities of uh, uh, Anuradha and her team and they can uh, uh, live up to your expectation because we have already experienced uh, the other, their, always their, prospective yeah. Yeah. Right. I want to have this uh, a long time relationship uh, with uh, black team hope yeah. yeah thank you chandrasekhar garu for all your suggestions uh, sir, please you continue talking to students sir malika ji sir yeah yeah sir. sure Ibas, yeah, so uh, please try yeah. to learn yeah yeah students so uh, that is a brief about the iidt tirupati and in the uh, audience, if any are from Tirupati or nearby Tirupati, you can certainly visit the IITT campus. Okay. And uh, further, or if uh, any overseas education assistance is required, we are collaborating with iCloud Technologies. In fact, iCloud Technologies it is uh, starting their campus office in Tirupati tomorrow. They are inaugurating their uh, regional office you can take advantage of that also. So I do request the students who are in and around Tirupati to visit us at IIT Tirupati. Uh, now, Anuradha, yeah, you can go ahead uh, with your work. Meghna, who is speaking next? Thank you, Malikarjuna, sir. Now I would like to introduce our uh, AIML uh, um, teacher, Prem Lata, ma'am. Uh, Prem Latanam, can you uh, continue the class? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you, Meghna. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, madam. Oh, yeah, good evening, sir. Uh, yeah, so if I get some messages or in the chat window, it would be great. Good evening. I hope I'm audible. Uh, I'm expecting more messages. Two, three, five, six. Quick, quick, quick. So there are around 870 people over here. I'm expecting more responses. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice to see, right? Okay. So first of all, let me introduce myself. Yeah, so still the messages are uh, no, uh, reaching the chat. Yeah, good to see that, right? Thank you. Good evening to all of you. So this is Premalata. Uh, I'm into artificial intelligence and machine learning for the past 15 years. I'm also, I have also associated with Amazon, Flipkart and Walmart. And I'm being a trainer of AIML, business analytics, 
um, SQL, Tableau, Power BI, and like oh, Big Data, Hadoop. So whatever is in uh, analytics domain. So I'm giving training for the past 15 years, right? So let it be a short introduction about myself because we are going to focus much on to the concepts, okay? Yeah, still there are a lot of messages. Nice to see that. Fine. I hope everybody is curious to uh, understand at least what is AI ML, okay? So one thing, keep it in your mind. It should be an interactive session only, right? So I don't want to talk alone. Whatever questions that uh, flows into your mind, you can immediately type over here. No need to wait till the end of the session. Whenever you get some questions in your mind, immediately write it over here. If I am continuing with the, some concept, I may be proceeding with that. Once I complete that, I would be answering your questions. Okay. So shall we start now? Uh, thank you, Bhavya. Right. Okay. So let's start with the session now. Right. So the first one, you can see that introduction to AI YAML. So this is today's agenda. So I'm just going to introduce AI YAML to you. I have, I have been handling these batches for several years. I could see most of the times people really do not know what is AI YAML. Uh, somehow they get fascinated towards the terminologies like AI, YAML, data science, analytics, and they jump into this, right? So definitely this is going to be an eye-opener session to everyone, right? Everyone, all the 880 people are going to get an idea that what is AIML, what we are going to learn in this course, okay? So let me start with the first one. So AIML is nothing but artificial intelligence and machine learning. So immediately you may be thinking, I know that ma'am. We know that AI stands for artificial intelligence, ML is machine learning, right? So all of you know that, let's now proceed with the concept. I'm not going to introduce you a lot of fancy definitions. It's not going to be like a theoretical uh, session every time it's going to be the practical session only. Since it is the introductory session, it can be a little theoretical, but again, there would be a lot of questions for you. I would be expecting your responses also, right? Fine. So let's start with this. Can you look at the first image? Can you tell me what it could be? This image, what it is? Ah, exactly. First computer. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Brilliant. Nice to see a lot of responses. First generation computer. Now just see, look at the size of the computer. People are really uh, going near the computer. They are doing something over here. They give instructions over here. What happens over here when they feed some uh, information over here, the machines will be moving forward and backward and it will be taking some instructions and it takes some time to give the information that's required from your end. Okay, so look at the size of the computer. Still, I remember like uh, normally whenever they wanted to keep systems, they used to have an AC room and the uh, uh, size of the system is a little bigger, not like now, right? So that is how it was. Now just look at this image and this image. If I ask you to do something, immediately you will be browsing for the information and you are giving your answers to me, right? So can you understand how the computer is being generated or how the world is actually progressing? Yes, exactly, right? Uh, I think 42. Uh, first computer made by humankind, but it is occupied a whole room. Exactly, you are right, right? So there is a, 
uh, response from someone uh, a name is not there so just i'm reading out it right so now why i am showing this image to you what is the need to understand this it is not only about the evolution of computers uh, say like a 20 years or 30 years back people were using only bullet cards to move from i mean like a, i'm talking about 40 years or 50 years back okay they were using bullet cards after that uh, the people started using cars uh, they, I can say that the car numbers were very less, not like now. So why I am connecting this over here? When people were using uh, bullet cards, when they get shifted from bullet cards to cars, people were talking like, no, if you introduce a lot of cars, people who were using bullet cards may be losing their job opportunities. They would be losing their jobs, how they can survive right so nowadays people are also talking about this hey ma'am if everything is moving towards artificial intelligence instead of people if we are going to employ machines for all the roles how there would be job opportunities for all the people there is also a threat that artificial intelligence is going to kill the job opportunities or p of people right so now let's try to understand that over here the point over here is it's not going to kill it if you if it is killing the job opportunities which means that you are not upgrading your technical skill the person who was using bullet card till the last, if he was using bullet card, then there is no other choice. He learned to drive cars. He upgraded his driving skill. That is how the technology is being evolved. So now you are at the right place because AI is going to rule the world. So remember one point in your mind. If there is no data, everything would be your opinion only. If there is no data, everything is going to be your opinion. When there is a data, then only we can prove everything. That's the reason we are being here. You are here to upgrade yourself into artificial intelligence so that you can challenge the technology okay i'm just talking about the evolution of the technology so now look at this what is this everybody knows that everybody knows that what it is right what is it yeah yeah it's a cat how do you know that it's a cat how do you know that it's a cat how do you know that it's a cat? Image processing. For you, you are doing image processing. You learned from school days. Brilliant answer. Brilliant answer. There is another answer. Features. Exactly. By looking at the features, you are looking at the features of this image that I am displaying. Then you are connecting with the concept that you studied in school days. You are connecting with the concept and then you could relate that, yeah, it's a cat. So you are looking at the eyes, yeah? This is what I have learned. This is how the eyes of a cat look like. You may be thinking like, what is the relationship between cat and artificial intelligence? We will reach that point soon. So what are we doing over here? We learned something when we were young. How we learned it? Shall I tell you an interesting scenario that could have happened in our life? You don't remember, but when I say that you could recollect, okay? When you were young, maybe seven months or eight months old, you might be sitting in your mother's lap. And whenever a cat passes, your mother might have taught you that, 
Look at that. There is a cat. Look at the eyes of the cat. Look at the paws of the cat. Look at the mustache. Like this is how your mother might have taught you how a cat looks like. So what she was doing, she was training you. Remember the concept? She was training you. She was training by the eyes of the cat, the features of the cat. Features are nothing. Features are nothing about a cat or nose or ears or paws or whatever it is. Right? I hope you can understand what I mean. She might have taught you after one month of training, whenever a cat passes, she used to ask you, what is that? What is that? So now it's your testing phase. You have to answer it's a cat. In case, if you say it's a dog, what will happen? If you say it's a cat in your testing phase, when your mother is testing, after one month of training, she is asking you whenever a cat passes by, she is asking you what is that? Since she has trained you on a dog also, by mistake, you are saying it's a dog. So what kind of response uh, test failed? No, no, don't, don't. Uh, a mother will be it exactly. Exactly, right? That's what might have happened. All will laugh. Exactly. Mommy bit me. <laughs> yeah. Right? So it's wrong. Now the mother used to teach, no, you are wrong. It's not a dog. It's scolding. Yes. We have to undergo scolding uh, or uh, no beating or again training, 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 training. When we learned alphabets also, the same thing happened. Instead of small b, we write small d, right? Yeah, exactly, right? So we got a lot of scoldings, beatings in the training phase. And then we learned that, okay, nowadays if I show you any type of cat image, will you make a mistake? Will you make any mistake if I show you a cat image? Definitely no. Because you learned it perfectly. Your training was really good. Okay. So now what you have to remember, I'm talking something about training and testing. Okay. So something AIML is connected with training and testing. Okay. Remember it. We will come to that point. Okay. Always whenever I teach, you open a notepad or a notebook, you can take down the hints of one uh, in one word or one sentence. Once the session ends, you can elaborate it and write it off. Okay. So now it's about training. Okay. If I show this image, some people may be knowing, some may not know. Why we may not know? We might have not trained uh, with this image. Yes, exactly. When I show cat, Immediately, there were a lot, lot of responses. But with cola, some people may be knowing. Some people we know, we don't know. Yes, that's not found in our surroundings. But I am giving you an assignment now. No, man, you have to tell me what is this animal? What will you do? You imagine that you do not know this animal now. What will you do now? What will you do now? Your mother didn't train. Yeah, that's your mother's fault, right? Can we say that? Ah, Google it, browse it. Okay. In Google, how will you find out? You don't know the name of the animal. How do you Google it? Picture. Okay, with the picture, what you will do? How you will search in the Google? Let me know. Google lens. Perfectly. Perfectly. Perfect answer. You would be using Google lens over here, right? So, can I say how the Google lens is working? Okay. So, we can also ask others who know that. You may be asking it. That is one option. The other option, we would be seeking the help of technology you would be using Google Lens. Now, once you put the picture in the Google Lens, 
it would be uh, looking into it would be looking into the features of this image then it will find out that it is nothing but cola when i showed the image of the cat the same thing you did you were looking at the features you identified that it is a cat when you try it with a google lens google lens is also doing the same work it was taking the features of the image that you have given over here and it is recognizing the name of the animal what you did was natural intelligence and what the google was doing is artificial intelligence am i clear yeah that is how ai work so ai concept is actually taken or copied from natural intelligence i hope all of you understand my point the pe person who found ai has taken the inspiration from the mother how the mother taught us or how the teacher taught us right that's being the inspiration behind the evolution of ai training and testing phase we will come to that i hope it is clear one example one live example i have given about google uh, lens now okay so all of you take your mobile now take your mobile now uh, go to the browser just type difference between just type difference between whatever it is showing in recommendation can you please put it in the chat window once you type difference between whatever it is displaying in the recommendations can you please put it over here okay harshita say c and c++ c and python effect okay evaporation and boiling list and tuple see you have to browse and tell me you have to browse and tell me structure and union covid and cold compiler and interpreter jdk okay 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 are you all getting the same are you all getting the same browse history i mean like a same recommendation over here no mass and weight everybody it is changing all of you are using the same google only same browser only but still but still can you see your your recommendations are being different convex lens and concave lens two tire and three tire cv and resume how how the recommendation in with google is changing exactly brilliant answer by madhuri it depends upon your browsing history it depends upon your browsing history i hope it is clear to everyone when you write difference between it's actually very clear that according like every day you may be searching for some information that is how it is actually showing over here right so can i say that it is also artificial intelligence let's connect with the natural intelligence now okay so let me take this scenario now now you wanted to uh, go out with your friends okay so you have to uh, seek permission to your parents so you are standing in front of your parents and then you are asking like uh, uh, um, um, to your father dad Uh, i want to go out uh, with my friends um, and we are planning to go over here when you say that 
immediately some sort of prediction does it come to your mind yeah that's what i'm asking definitely no he won't send me is prediction coming to your mind immediately yeah when you talk to your teacher when you talk to your friend whoever you talk with immediately there would be some predictions that comes in your mind when they are about to say something also quickly we will fall under assumption <laughs> he gives lecture on travel okay <laughs> all right <laughs> right so we know that right so whenever uh, you talk to how it is happening because of the previous experience with your father with your father with your teacher or with your friends or with your uh, uh, people who are surrounded by you this is natural intelligence how it is happening because of the observations from the environment the same thing is happening over here when you search for some information with google it is showing some recommendations based upon your browsing history that's what called as artificial intelligence am i clear uh, can you all relate natural intelligence with artificial intelligence where the inspiration has come from look at this now you are traveling or i can tell you that uh, uh, you are in your native place yes it is a bus right you are in your native place assume that assume that you do not know to read your mother tongue but in the bus it is written in your mother tongue you can speak in your mother tongue but you do not know to read in your mother tongue so there is a bus the bu you are waiting in the bus stop buses are going here and there but you are not able to read it because the language that is written on the uh, bus you really do not know what will you do now a immediately translator uh, immediately translator what will you do first one first thing what we will do ask others exactly immi joke <laughs> okay so immediately what you will do you will be asking the person you will be troubling the person who is standing in the bus stop to tell that what it is exactly exactly i hope all of you understand what i mean yeah me too everybody does that yeah i hope it is clear to everyone fine so we would be asking them what is written over there i want to go this place can you please help me like whether this bus go to that place or not what are we doing over here we do not know to recognize the text ah it's good right tamil that's the reason i have taken tamil so you cannot understand yes you are using natural intelligence you are trying to understand but if it is written in english immediately you could use your training phase over here and you can read it out hope it is clear now nobody is standing in the bus stop nobody is standing in the bus stop what will you do now you would be using you would be asking driver or you may be like you are you have your phone in your hand now what will you do uh, you think that you are an introvert you do not want to ask anyone you do not want to ask anyone uh, google translator you would be using any sort of translator app over there you will just um uh, i hope ah uh, when you call your friend before that the bus will go man it control your jokes <laughs> right so i hope it is clear to everyone you would be using the translator over here what are we doing with the translator we are trying to translate from unknown language to known language yes or no again can you connect between natural intelligence and artificial intelligence 
i hope it is clear to everyone if you look at the scenario first scenario what is the input data over here the input data is image the input data is image yes if you take this one what is the input data what is the input data over uh, input data is not bus no what is the ah text exactly exactly we are not going to upload the image right we are going to uh, give the input as text only i hope all of you get my point not the image we are not going to upload the image of a bus right exactly so what is the input data over here this is about text i hope it is clear to everyone now so let's try to connect with artificial intelligence concept now uh, like okay in case if you hesitate to type and search for the information what is the alternate method you do to look for the information i mean like uh, other than a uh, uh, text speaking exactly so can you browse by using voice also a uh, voice search so in this case what is the input data voice exactly audio exactly so i hope it is clear to everyone so what we have seen till now the input data can be image it can be audio it can be video it can be text then that falls under artificial intelligence why does it fall under artificial intelligence because here it is actually working according to the natural intelligence whatever human beings can do we are achieving with the help of machine i hope all of you could understand what i mean whatever is possible with the human being we are making machines also to understand that that's basically called as artificial intelligence human can learn we can make machines also to learn human can listen we can also make machines to listen so whatever we can achieve with the help of the human beings if we can achieve with the help of machines that is called as artificial intelligence now if you read this you will be able to understand ability to learn think and behave like humans we will be making the computers to mimic the human being that's called as artificial intelligence so now yes so now here if you see the input data is image audio video text which means this data is called as unstructured data so ai deals with unstructured data what is meant by unstructured data say at the end of the session for example i am asking you to write the feedback instead of giving a rating i am asking you to write a feedback so now let me take some names from this chat window uh, so vijit raghu is writing uh, in a single word okay in a single word and shalim is writing in a single sentence about the ses uh, session and venkata shiva is writing a single i mean like he is writing a paragraph over here and say seshu kumar is writing in telugu uh tejeshwari is writing with english telugu and hindi and harsha is writing telugu in english right and uh, somebody else like let me take some other names since there are a lot of numbers i couldn't find out the names over here keerthi uh, keerthi is using emoji so this is called as unstructured data because there is no definite format for this one person with a single word 
uh, uh, other person single sentence, paragraph, multiple languages, emojis, emoticons, right? That is how image also looks like. There is no proper format over here. The pixels can change. That's called as unstructured data. So AI always deal with unstructured data. Hope it is clear. In the industry, 80% of the data is unstructured data only. 80% of the data is unstructured data only in the industry. Ma'am, then what is this remaining 20%? Remaining 20% is structured data. Structured data is nothing like Excel, CSV file. CSV is generally semi-structured, but for now I'm taking it under structured. It can be in the form of table or column. So now there is a gender column means we have to write it as male or female only. You cannot explain your the gender in a paragraph. All of you got my point. Rows and columns. That is where machine learning is used. Now you may be getting a question in your mind. Then why ma'am? 80% of the data is artificial intelligence as you said. That is dealing with unstructured data. Remaining 20% is only structured data. Why should we study machine learning then? Why don't I jump into artificial intelligence? Right? Premata, give me a second. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lata and uh, students, just want to introduce to you Dr. Sundar Balakrishna. Dr. Sundar Balakrishna is Special Secretary IT, um, Government of Andhra Pradesh in Department of IT. He is himself a great academician. He teaches in IIM. He is also Director General of International Institute of Digital Technologies. He is the driving force and um, the person who has conceived so many useful programs for all the students. So he wants to take this to every student in Andhra Pradesh and also not restricting, not restricting to Andhra Pradesh across the country. He wants all the students to take benefit and learn these new technologies. So let me introduce to you. And uh, if sir is, uh, sir, are you able to unmute yourself, sir? I am able to unmute myself. Thanks, Anuradha. But I am unable to start my video. So if okay. you can, if I can really start uh, sharing the, yeah. Am I? Am I yes, you are visible and audible. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Black Books. Uh, are Are you able to see me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good evening, Malikarjan Garu. And uh, yes, <clears throat> thanks very much, uh, Anradha from Black Box and my other <clears throat> uh, colleagues from Black Box and other institutions. It's always a privilege uh, to be a part of such inauguration programs with reference to emerging technologies. Uh, 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 Radha, madam, can you just uh, tell me the, I can see that the number of students is 90. Uh, uh, how many of them belong to engineering, non-engineering, or whether they are all from one particular geographical territory? Uh, how is this uh, based? Black books? Anybody from Black books? Yes, sir. They are uh, mostly uh, from Vijayawada location, sir. And predominantly, we can see Kids Kuntur College. Most of the students are from. And, and all the students in this uh, thousand odd students, sir, are from BTEC second and third years. Very and very from science background students, sir. BTEC. Thank you very much. Uh, I will take around seven to eight minutes uh, to 
to introduce this program i think already it has been done by uh, anuradha madam from black box and i also see that there is a good presentation on artificial intelligence in machine learning <clears throat> uh, if the students are from second year and third year i gather that they already have gone through semester 1 and 2 <clears throat> uh, that means a good introduction to mathematics a good introduction to programming in c c++ <clears throat> and maybe if you are in the third year you might have also been introduced to certain elements of data structures and uh, java <clears throat> so it's a it's a it's a good mix of students uh, it's a good mix of my voice is not clear Please clear, sir. Maybe the student is not getting, but your voice is clear. Okay, uh, dear students, I warmly welcome you up to this program. This program is focused. It is being jointly offered by the by the ITC department, government of Nepal. Hey, uh, echo, sir. Probably somebody two two devices have been logged into. mobile and laptop or something like that there is an echo from your side sir oh no 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 it is just only one screen can i log out and again log in will that help the purpose now it is very clear sir please continue okay so as i was saying this program is jointly offered <clears throat> by the itc department along with the knowledge partner black box based in hyderabad and uh, black box itself is a it's a vibrant entrepreneurship <coughs> venture uh, by our anuradha madam uh, it, it is a it is a platform which brings together several machine learning enthusiasts machine learning industry partners and of course the students who are the raw material for this exciting technology uh, at iitt we not only offer courses like this this course will run into <clears throat> several months as a part of all your academic curriculum dear students at iitt we also offer full time post graduate program and we are very selective in whom to choose for this program so currently we have a uh, post graduate program in artificial intelligence it is at a quite a higher level than what will be taught to you in this uh, in this curriculum uh, i also have with me uh, mr malikarjun who is a cyber security certified professional <coughs> with close to two and a half decades of experience and uh, to incubate and curate this program at iidt uh, uh, for all of you <coughs> i am quite sure artificial intelligence and machine learning ante oka oka new kind of enthusiasm is always there for this technology uh, but let us not get carried away by the hype because how useful the operations are how useful your products are to the society is ultimately what decides the flourishing nature of it, any technology uh we were hearing about uh, the differentiation between artificial intelligence and machine learning <laughs> i was also partially listening to structured and unstructured data in the in with a reference to the machine learning context <laughs> the facts are right uh but to put things in context artificial intelligence has been with us <clears throat> for several almost centuries the first mention of human computers artificial intelligence antone it means that machines that are capable of thinking so the first mention of human computers with reference to artificial intelligence goes back to 1613 on a documents when it was the 1613 ad lo we have a first re reference of artificial intelligence then down the history after nearly 200 years 
it was the military department of defense military in usa the present day united states of america and nasa national aeronautics space administration where they hired exclusively only women <clears throat> for their accounting and mathematical computations and checks appudu unna laptops appudu unna computers ippudu unna sleek model lev in fact the biggest of them called the eniac students of btech who have already studied computer architecture will know what i am talking about the eniac computer 1945 lo when it was introduced it was capable of doing <clears throat> around 5000 floating operations per second which is peanuts compared to what computing power we have today <clears throat> but artificial intelligence upon one day it started taking shape due to this women programmers at nasa then 1956 we had professor mcculloch who came out with this artificial neuron model the 1990 1956 law dartmouth college law ok a workshop summer workshop law three to four professors sat together and that was when the artificial intelligence discipline itself started then late in 1970s and 80s we had machine learning <clears throat> artificial intelligence was restricted to uh largely uh, symbolic programming at a how machines are capable of imitating human behavior how they are capable of understanding human speech how much to what extent they are capable of converting natural language to bits or bytes the research was mainly focused on these areas so uh, after two decades of existence 1970s law the artificial intelligence ki funding and enthusiasm went down it again picked up in 1980s with the introduction of intel with its intel 85 86 and 88 compilers programming capacity perigindi memory become cheaper <clears throat> and again 1980s lo there was renewed interest in artificial intelligence but again research in artificial intelligence did not come out of its language natural language fixation it was only after 2000 that along with computing machines which i was already referring to which could perform millions of floating operations per second and memory size became cheaper and memory in small chips could hold more information <clears throat> so all these advances gave a lot of impetus to machine learning and 2000 2000 in the last two decades so there was a lot of interest in machine learning applications and unfortunately much of the research started coming only from industry captains that is the reason why we have people like anuradha and black box <clears throat> because they have a fairly good amount of <clears throat> experience in how these algorithms can be applied to human related issues <clears throat> academicians what happens is most of our thinking most of our learning it 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 is important because it lays the foundation for much of artificial intelligence contrary to what many of my students think artificial intelligence comes with a legacy from several disciplines philosophers economists mathematicians statisticians medical professionals because brain and related thinking process how it happens psychologists so all these disciplines even today they contribute to make what artificial intelligence is today <clears throat> so if you are studying something like ai as you will go through the course you will realize that it touches almost on every branch of human knowledge so that is how exciting it is and your next 150 to 200 hours with iidt and black box is going to be extremely exciting and the only constraint i can see for students is uh, how you are going to give the attention to this course given your other academic and compulsory engagements with your respective colleges and universities fortunately whatever you learn 
in this course will also help you to a certain extent in using this knowledge for answering your questions and appearing for examinations in your university uh, in, in your university curriculum so to this extent i see a good match and it should also be fairly and good useful useful to you <laughs> going forward uh, uh, uh students give my my message is that you should capitalize on this and get, leverage the black box uh, platform at hyderabad try to get yourself involved in as much projects as possible contribute to black box and iit by giving us good projects so that we can host it make you popular in the industry forums as i already said ai and ml is one such discipline where industry participation is extremely important in quite contrast take the example of your mathematics 1 mathematics 2 <coughs> multiple integrals triple integrals double integrals okay gamma functions beta functions we want to go you will not see too much of industry interface but they are required to pass your university examinations they are also required <coughs> to get a thorough understanding of what computer science is about but going forward once you finish your graduation go to your mtechs go to your ms go for your mba programs you will soon realize that all you do is deal with industry data and many of it as madam was mentioning will be unstructured so how do you make sense out of this unstructured data that is where machine learning offers you plenty of experience plenty of inputs in the form of algorithms you have supervised learning you have unsupervised learning you have semi supervised learning you also have reinforcement learning and along with this you have several other techniques <coughs> for handling unstructured data discriminant analysis <coughs> several algorithms based on markov chains all this will be taught to you in the course of your ai and ml uh, program with us you may also get an opportunity to do projects and there i will urge you to spend a lot of time and attention and iidt platform <coughs> we are a we are a part of the ap government <coughs> we work under the itc department mana itc department lo <coughs> besides international institute of digital technologies from where this program is being offered you also have several other departmental wings like the andhra pradesh space application center which is located in uh near the pan circle you also have the andhra pradesh technology services the andhra pradesh cyber security operations center <coughs> you have the andhra pradesh electronics and it agency andhra pradesh it academy and the andhra pradesh innovation society all of them are sister arms and sister societies of the it department <laughs> our it department is headed by one uh one lady ias officer shrimati g j lakshmi madam who is uh who is the versatile officer who has worked in several areas of governance and rural development <clears throat> so she brings with us the expertise of working in the development sector and how it can be an enabler for economic development that is a broader picture but iidt specifically works for only <clears throat> getting the emerging technologies to students and professionals alike along with artificial intelligence iidt also has programs <clears throat> in cyber security we are also floating a program shortly in hybrid cloud with on the linux platform so students ki you must be most familiar with the windows platform but you also parallelly you know that you also have the ios that is apple key operating systems platform and then you also have the linux platform especially if, which is very good for <coughs> hybrid cloud management so it lot to be very choosy emerging technologies so we offer very high end programs and i must thank black box for coming out with this program which fits into the administrative structure of the itc department and i wish black box the students and all my team for the success of this program 
myself and the team are always available to the students <coughs> for anything related to this program and i urge all the students to make the maximum use of what only what we teach but also the fact that you are a part of the itc department's academic offering and black books that are most strengths in networking in it area in both telangana and andhra pradesh thank you very much uh black box and uh, andhra if there is anything to add uh, no, kindly you know you can in your role malik no, arjun the, the program got elevated just by your presence sir thank you so much for taking time to come to this uh, inaugural day for the 1100 students who have joined this program uh, we will really try to uh, keep up to the expectations of the department who have entrusted this huge scale of uh, the capacity building to us thank you so much once again for joining sir malika ji sir do you want to say something yes uh, uh, sir uh, we have enlightened the students about the uh, i cloud also sir regarding Very for uh, helping in our sis education okay i have already highlighted the students very good very good students ski if you are interested in <clears throat> gre and gmat going abroad we also have a partner with us <clears throat> who will offer the course completely free for you they will also help you with all the logistics <clears throat> of getting to abroad either it is whether it is a us region or the canada region or the europe region most important of all after finish your ms <coughs> abroad placements ki kuda we have the partners who are willing to help the students give the necessary support so make use of these platforms too for a meaningful career in it and emerging technologies thank you malika arjun garu for reminding me this uh andrada uh, madam uh it would be good to have a presence in tirupati also so accordingly we students you could you can enlighten them on this so that we can have a end to end package which will be useful to them not only academically but also in their further professional career yes surely i'll do that sir uh, we we'll keep posting such messages to the students thank you thank you very much so am i going to leave yes sir thank you so much once again students once again i wish you the best all the best thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir over to you premlatam yeah Uh, so we'll continue with the concept like we were discussing about the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning right so in artificial intelligence we have discussed that 80 percentage of the data that is normally available in the industry is unstructured data so that we can do with the help of artificial intelligence remaining 20 percentage is like un uh, sorry structured data uh 80% is unstructured right so with this 20% of data why should i learn machine learning right so sometimes people ask these questions to me so my answer is if you want to be proficient in artificial intelligence the first thing you have to be proficient with is about machine learning first of all you should understand how to do how to uh, progress with the machine learning whenever we get a data how to handle machine learning if you understand that then only you will be able to apply artificial intelligence concepts okay so without knowing uh, ml it is not a good idea to jump into ai right so i guess now everyone has a clarity about the difference between artificial intelligence ml and what is the reason to do artificial intelligence and machine learning course can i get some response okay good good to see that right so these are some applications just i'm showing it to you i hope all of you know about siri you may not be knowing siri right so how you may not be knowing how it is working but still it's working according to the uh, ai and the netflix you can see 
and a car picture I'm showing in AI. So what should be this car? Ah, Tesla. Exactly, right? Ah, driverless. Uh, okay. So drive. Others are able to see. Uh, just check it out because people are able to see the screen. Yes. Self-driving car. And this one, what it could be? Alexa. Exactly. We might have seen in the advertisement. I don't think uh, most of the people have it at home yet. Uh, I, I guess like in another two to three years, everybody will be using it. Right. So that's uh, the are some applications of AI. Right. So let us now start with very interesting concepts of types of analytics. Okay, now I am into artificial intelligence and machine learning. So what we can do with that, right? So that is what we are trying to do it. So is, is screen not visible? Because from only one person I'm getting response that screen is not visible. Uh, just check it out and let me know whether the screen is visible or not. Visible only, it seems. Please check it out properly. Uh, for some people, it is not visible. For some people, it is visible. What is the reason? I suggest you, Lata Ji, can you reshare your screen? Okay. Let me know whether it is visible to everyone now. I could see that around 75 people are saying network issue, okay? Okay, fine. So again, as I told you, I am not going to take you to any of the theoretical concepts, but you can see some types of analytics I have written over here, right? So what are the analytics over here? You can see like descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, and prescriptive. Let's not go into that. First, let's start with the uh, theoretical, uh, sorry, not the theoretical concept. Like let's look into the uh, example scenario to understand these concepts. So let me know whether the whiteboard is visible to everyone. I have not yet written anything, but can you see the uh, whiteboard over here? Yes, right? So let's start with that, right? So everyone listen, let's hear a story now. Okay, let's hear a story now. No, again, no. Only one person is saying no, not visible. Why so? Uh, most of them are saying yes. Uh, I don't know why this is the first time I'm facing this issue. Like for some people it is visible, for some it is not visible. Uh, okay, fine. So let, let's now start with that, right? Let's hear some story, some scenario, and then we will proceed with that, okay? Because of network, yes, I could see that. But anyways, like without screen also, I think my, uh, my mouth works a lot. So I hope without screen also, you will be able to understand. If you have any issues in understanding the concept, let me know, right? Fine, because I'm not uh, uh, presenting or I'm not going to read out from the PowerPoint presentation anything. It's just for the namesake. Most probably I'm only going to talk. I'm only going to write it. Okay, so let's let's look into the concept now. So let me start with a scenario one. Okay, so in scenario one, just think that you are unwell. Okay, you are unwell. So what will you do now? Normally, we will take medicine for some days to see whether we are getting all right or not. Now, still you are unwell. Just imagine that you got some food from outside. So you got some kind of uh, stomach pain or stomach upset over here. So basically, you are unwell, right? So let's, let's look into the concept only, right? Okay, so here you are unwell. So what do you do now? You go and visit a doctor now. So once you visit the doctor, you would be explaining everything to the doctor. You explain your problems to the doctor. I hope all of you agree with my point. Like when the stomach pain is getting aggravated, when it was happening, all those things you were explaining to the doctors over here, right? 
so come out of this artificial intelligence and machine learning don't connect with that we are trying to understand the scenario only right so we won't predict anything over here just you will go to the doctor you will explain your problems to the doctor so once you explain your problems to the doctor now he may be trying uh, to understand what is the reason for your stomach pain so maybe like he check with your abdomen by physical touch or he may be asking you to go for x ray or ecg something like this to identify what is the reason for your stomach pain maybe like uh, because of kidney stone or food poison right so like this the doctor tries to identify the reason for your stomach pain so after that this is doctor's turn if you all uh, uh, recollect the doctors used to tell that it's good that now you come uh, now you come otherwise it could have brought to some kind of serious problems normally uh, they do a threat like this some sort of warning they would be throw exactly 523 all right yeah they would be throwing some warnings that luckily you have come now otherwise it could have lead to these kind of severities all those they would be talking for lot of pages about it right uh, yeah so now once they give warning after that what they will do they will be recommending some medicines or like if any surgery is required the doctor would be recommending some surgery for us i hope all of you understood the sequence over here you are unwell went to the doctor explained your problems the doctor was checking your abdomen whether you are all right or not what is the reason for your pain or if the doctor is not able to identify he will ask you to go for x ray and ecg then he would be threatening you that this could have uh, you no know, taken you to some kind of severity after that the doctor is prescribing some medicines or surgery to you right so this is scenario 1 so let me go to scenario 2 now right in scenario 2 i am a business woman right being a business woman so i have uh, uh, some uh, uh, i mean like a maybe like a for simplicity i will take it like some shops i have at three prime locations a location b location and c location okay i could see that the business is good at a and also at b but i am not really happy with the business at c so what i am doing now i am approaching you i am approaching you who are you you are basically from ai ml domain you are from ai ml domain so i am a business woman i am facing a problem i am reaching you you are from artificial intelligence and machine learning domain so the first step what you will do is you will be collecting the entire data of the shops a b and c so you will be collecting the entire data of a b c and then no no i am talking about the data data in the sense it could be about every day sales in which item how much salary we are giving to the employees all those information is basically called as data over here so you would be collecting the data over there then you would be finding out okay what is the average sales over here you will be basically coming out like a mean median mode or what is the uh, average sales like where is the sale is being maximum on which days the sale is maximum so all those you would be trying to identify over here then in the next step you will try to understand why the sale of a and b is really good why the sale of c is really less you will try to understand why the sale of a and b is good why the sale of c is really down the next step is that you will be trying to figure out if no action is taken what would be the sale for the upcoming month or upcoming year 
so you will be trying to find out about the sale of next month or next year the next step what you will do is you will be suggesting some actions to me saying that ma'am if you take these actions definitely you can improvise your business with a c also like a and b let so is both the scenarios or both scenarios clear to you scenarios are clear i have not yet jumped into the concept or scenarios clear to everyone both the scenarios waiting for more responses like whoever uh, screen is not visible those person also can tell me whether it is understandable without screen also fine so let's proceed now as uh, okay so now let's proceed with this part now right so what we have done over here you could see that the first person the first one we have seen that unwell you went to the doctor you explained your problems to the doctor so you explained your problems to the doctor means you are basically explaining the doctor what happened in the past what happened in the past am i clear explaining your problems to the doctor means you are just trying to explain to the doctor what happened in the past right similarly in the second scenario you have collected the data of a shop b shop and c shop and you are trying to get the entire information about the data you are collecting the data means the data is actually about the past data only which already happened so the first step, what are we doing over here what happened in the past is this part clear with uh, everyone with both scenario explaining your problems to the doctor explaining about the uh, sales of a b and c that happened in the past okay so let's go on to the next step next step if you see the doctor was trying to identify the reason for your stomach pain right the doctor was trying to identify the reason for your stomach pain if you look at this scenario here you you are aiml researcher right you are trying to identify the reason for the sales being good at a and b and you are also trying to identify the reason why the sale of c is not really good so basically what you are trying to come up with reasoning so can i reiterate like why did it happen in both the scenarios why did it happen am i clear why did it happen am i clear okay so the third stage third stage the doctor was giving a warning if this is going to continue no one can save you right so basically doctor is giving a warning to you the doctor is giving a warning to you which means that what will happen in the future what will happen in the future i hope it is clear here when i am talking about in the second scenario if no action is taken what will be the sales in the upcoming month or upcoming year i hope i am clear up to the third stage the fourth stage is that now the doctor would be giving medicines or surgery why the doctor is giving medicine or surgery to overcome your problem to sort down your problem the doctor is suggesting some medicine medicines or surgery so here you are suggesting some actions to me 
that what steps should I take to overcome the problem in my business? So can I write like what actions to be taken? What actions to be taken? Okay, so let's now, yes, that's about the solution, exactly. So let's now connect with that. It is our time to understand it exactly. The first point is about what happened in the past, which is nothing but descriptive statistics. So you have some data out of the data. If you are trying to understand what happened in the past, that's nothing but descriptive analytics. Right? Sorry, it's not data. It's called as descriptive analytics. So what do we study in descriptive analytics? What happened in the past? In scenario one, you explain your problems to the doctor. In scenario two, from the collected data, we will try to understand that what actually happened in the past or a few months back or a few years back. In the second step, why did it happen? In, me in uh, medical terminology, we call it as diagnosis. Right? We call it as diagnosis, reasoning, exactly, which is nothing but diagnostic analytics. Diagnostic analytics, which is nothing but finding out the reason. In scenario one, the doctor is checking your abdomen uh, by touch or x ray or ECG. In scenario two, you are trying to identify the reason why the sale of C is really down. Basically, we are trying to find out the reason. Reasoning is nothing but diagnosis. Diagnosis is nothing but diagnostic analytics over here. The third one, warning. Here the doctor is talking about the future. Future means what is the term that comes in your mind, which starts with letter P which starts with the letter P. Can you, let me see who is answering. About the, exactly, Harshita answered. And then I could see a lot of responses over here. It's nothing but predictive analytics. Prediction means what? It is about the future. Predictive analytics is about the future, right? The last one, medicine or surgery. Or here you are recommending some actions to me what actions to be taken in medical term the doctor gives medicines right so how do we call that sheet as in a paper he used to write the medicine name right how do we call it as not perspective no ah exactly 216 ah exactly prescription so what this analytics is called as prescriptive analytics which is nothing but actions to be taken which is prescriptive analytics okay so in short if you see in the ai part we have discussed about unstructured data and also we have discussed about ml there ml is dealing with the structured data i told you that 80 percentage of the data is unstructured only 20 percentage is only structured data but to understand this 80 percentage we should be clear with this 20 percentage of the data how to handle this algorithms this machine learning algorithms right then we have discussed about the types of analytics in types of analytics we have seen the first one which it should be it should go in that order only right you cannot change the order the first one is descriptive analytics. Description is nothing but explanation. Explanation is nothing but what happened in the past. The second one is about diagnostic analytics. In diagnostic analytics, we will study that why did it happen. Diagnosis means reasoning. Reasoning means why. The third one is about predictive analytics. Prediction is nothing but about future. So what will happen in the future? The fourth one is like prescriptive analytics. 
right so in prescriptive analytics what actions to be taken if you remember the terminology that i used with the doctor example you will be able to understand that description explanation past diagnosis reasoning why why prediction future prescription is about action am i clear yeah have you got an uh, picture about uh, ai ml we have not yet completed okay the introduction is not yet over we should also try to understand what is machine learning what are the skill sets that are required to be proficient into this domain right uh, so any questions please write it in the chat window any questions well said okay thank you subhakar hope i didn't bore you Ah, deep learning also fall under artificial intelligence. So there, actually, like uh, we are talking about thinking, right? Thinking in the sense it is related to brain. So with the deep learning, we would be, ah, uh, we would be actually ah uh, uh, connecting with the concept of brain and making the deep learning concepts. Thank you all. Thank you all. Yeah, enjoyed a lot. Doctor example was good, interactive. ML is base for AI. More than that. you cannot uh, like uh, if people are hiring you for ai they expect you also to be proficient with the ml okay most of the interview questions would be from machine learning only more than artificial intelligence they would be asking lot of interview questions only from machine learning whenever we go ahead with the concepts we will also be discussing about the interview concepts interview questions and also how to uh, how to answer it deep learning is a part of artificial intelligence it is not a separate domain uh, do you understand uh, that 515 uh, machine learning uh, and deep learning actually falls under ai under ai if you go there would be deep learning there would be computer vision there would be natural language processing i have not uh, discussed any uh, no divisions on ai uh, a, a deep learning is a part of ai Cyber security is completely different. ML is separate. ML is separate in the sense that AI is a big umbrella. Let me tell you this way: AI is a big umbrella. Under that, this machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, computer vision, everything falls under. So, whenever you want to deal with the images, that's basically called as computer vision. How we will work with the computer vision for that deep learning would be the basic. To make deep learning, make uh, machine learning would be the basic. to understand machine learning mathematics and python would be the basic if you want to deal with the text or voice kind of uh, uh, data then we should understand natural language processing again natural language processing means we would be making some kind of uh, deep learning models over there again that uh, for that basic is basically this uh, machine learning then again for machine learning mathematics and python so we will be going in order only right we will become proficient in mathematics first whatever is concept related to over there no machine learning is very important i am talking about 20 percentage of the data right we don't know whether you are getting placed in uh, like it domain or something so data science means it is they won't be handling this unstructured data only with the machine learning concepts uh, it deals with the data science uh, but they have to be well proficient in statistics and probability that is more into mathematical concepts we would be focusing more on to the algorithm perspective uh, when how to make a model how to get inference from the model what is that login i have no idea about it tap tap login ma means i think you have to contact blackbox team for it hope it is clear uh, uh it, it was actually a nice session for me too because i was getting lot of responses from you all no no i am talking only about aiml not about cyber security and i have i have just talked about ai ml only cyber security cloud i was not doing thank you thank you ma
Okay, see you all in the next session. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, good evening, students. Myself, Katyaini from Black Books. I am the academic administrator here. Uh, and I, I want to share with you a few points regarding the attendance and also the feedback and everything. So uh, first we'll talk about the attendance. See, I have shared you a Google form where we are taking the feedback on the session and instructor and even it includes your attendance also. So try to fill the feedback form every day whenever I post to you in the, in the chat box or in your WhatsApp group, try to give your responses. So it helps you and me also uh, to go ahead with the sessions and also with the instructors, right? So that is the first thing. And next thing is like uh, today is the first session. I have seen a good attendance, good number of students have joined. So every day expect the same. Uh, please everyone of you take it seriously and join the sessions and be in the session uh, for one and a half hour. So it doesn't mean that you uh, fill the feedback form and we give the attendance. We even track your attendance from the Zoom. We'll see that how much time you are attending the session. Okay, so if it is just join and leave the session, you, you may think that you may get the attendance, it's not correct. Okay, so we'll see the timings also, everything we can track it from the Zoom. So what I request is, please everyone, one and a half hour session, please attend it completely and take the benefits of it, okay? So you can use your chat box for posting your uh, uh, queries, your uh, whatever doubts you've got immediately whenever the session is going on and ma'am will answer you at the end of the session or in between the session, okay? So this is the second thing and uh, be uh, regular to the sessions. And whenever we give the assignment, I, I'll give you the drive link also where you need to upload your assignment. Okay, and uh, next thing is in between we may conduct the test also. The, the, attending the test is one thing. And for that, I'll check your uh, attendance also. If your attendance should be more than 75%, then also then only you'll be given eligible for writing the test. So see that you attend the regularly sessions and assignment should be submitted. And next third thing is test should be written. Based on the test marks, we will give it three types of certificates. One is outstanding, uh, next is excellent, and third one is a satisfactory. And I hope all the students here are very good, intelligent, and very anxious to learn the ANML. So I believe that all of you should get an outstanding certificate, which is 75% and above if you score, okay? And excellent is 60% and above, and satisfactory is 35% and above. And if you get below 35%, nothing. Why? Because it is waste of uh, attending the sessions, right? So I, uh, I uh, hope all the students listen to the sessions carefully. And at least one day we'll be giving the gap alternate days, the sessions will be conducted. So next day at the same time, please sit and study for the next session, okay? So take time from your uh, calendar on the alternate days, just prepare for the next day what's going on in the session, okay? So all the best to all the students. Any queries, I will post a number in the your WhatsApp group. You can contact us personally. You can call or you can give a message or you can chat in the chat in the WhatsApp group. We can immediately we'll react to your uh, queries, okay? Thank you all. Good night. Regarding the BBIDs and also the welcome mail, somebody have their doubts, I'm going to send a Google form where you please give your whatever problems you have, whatever queries you have, attend the Google form and we'll look into that and whoever did not receive the mail or BBID, immediately we'll post you, okay? Sir, can we end the session? Uh all the tapped up uh, credentials will be shared by end of this weekend. You can check your emails for the same. That's Katya Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
dear students once you fill the feedback form uh, you can leave the session <laughs>